stripes came in the 80s. So we got three different eras right here. Tradition. Nobody has ever worn all three of them. Y'all the first ones, and y'all will be the last ones tonight. And the reason why is because you got a chance to make history. Not only Miami history, but college football history. Nobody has gone from double-digit losses to double-digit wins. Richie three and zero as a starter. He's playing in place of the injured Zach Dyser, who has a lacerated spleen. Merriweather gets his hand off cleanly and gets the lost yardage back plus one more. So third and long coming up here. Merriweather not the fastest back, but very powerful, sees the holes, make great cuts, but as his coaches say, needs help from that offensive line up front. And that offensive line was in desperate need of continuity, which they got over the last four games in the offense. A mallet, Mark Ingram, Marcel Darius, all will be most likely coming to here. Lad People Stadium in Mobile, Alabama for the senior bowl. Play in front of the Scots. First and ten for Miami. Boucher dumps it to Thomas Merriweather, who shoved out near the first down. How about an excellent timeout, too, to get Boucher back in the game. And off on first and goal goes to Thomas Merriweather into the end zone for a Miami touchdown. 70-yard pass play from Boucher to Robinson sets up the four-yard TD run from Thomas Merriweather. Running behind. Brooks and Kennedy on that side. Great pull also by Gully to lead the way into the end zone. Zone read and power team. That's how Mo Watts described his run game. We've seen a little of the zone read, and that's old school Midwest power running right at you. Boy, the Super Bowl, they love college football. Boucher turns and hands off to Merriweather on second down, fighting for a first down for Miami. It has been a tough year down here. 2010 was a tough year on the Gulf Coast, so here's wishing 2011 a much better year for the folks of Mobile, Alabama, up and down the Gulf Coast. Yeah. Boucher on third and 12 is going to hand off to Merriweather. Has some room on the outside. Merriweather turns the corner and has a first down. The Red Hawks run it on third and 12 and convert anyway. 19-yard pickup. And I tell you, it's somewhat surprising because Merriweather went laterally for a long ways. And again, typically the speed of Middle Tennessee would have caught him. He does a great job of getting north to south, running through a tackle. Crucial. I've got to get outside and keep that contained, keep that running back between the tackles. Angles and leverage, so important on defense. We shape play action on first down. Finds Merriweather out of the backfield for another positive game for Thomas Merriweather. And over 1,800 career rushing yards coming in it tonight did Merriweather. Inside give to Merriweather on third and 30. In part to keep the clock running. So Middle Tennessee will have less time, although three timeouts left for the Blue Raiders. And they will get the football before the half with Zach Murphy to punt. Miami trying to move the chains, run the clock. Ball at the 49 here. Approaching 10 minutes to go. Heavy pressure coming from Middle Tennessee. Merriweather gets it on the draw, running right past the pressure for a gain of about seven on first down. Give credit to the offensive line and the pass protection schemes of Miami. Merriweather bounces it outside, room to run. Harwell blocking for him downfield. Merriweather takes it all the way to the 16 before Rod Isaac and Kevin Brown catch up with them. You know, that's one of the examples of a guy on defense not doing his assignment at the edge. You've got an edge defender, has to stay outside. Somebody's got to scrape that outside position. You cannot allow the edge to be taken by the offense. And again, receiver's got to maintain the block down the field. Yeah, that's a situation there for Harwell. You don't have to be perfect, right, coach? Just no. shield, just keep your body in the way and especially when the ball carrier gets there most young receivers try to make a block and they stop because the back's not there yet you got to get a sense of timing of when he will be there where you're at down the field it's just a feel thing for him as well very weather again straight ahead this time inside the 10. You get a sense right now that uh, Miami is feeling it up front. Yep. They get a feel that, they, again, they want to feed the back. He's hungry. The offensive line is moving the pile. Let's keep it going. 
I think you can feel that as an offense, can't you, Mike? You've been given these opportunities. You didn't execute the last time. But here's your chance where your defense has stuffed Middle Tennessee. To, Tennessee has taken the ball away three times. And now you have a chance to put yourself ahead two scores with just six minutes to go. Thomas Sr. and Priscilla Merriweather. And so Thomas, the senior from Missouri, trying to get in the end zone for the third time tonight. Merriweather gets down to the one. Thomas Merriweather. And there's the Merriweather family saying hello to the nation. Very proud parents right now with all right to do. And this has got to be four touches for the big fella, doesn't it? Yes. I think, again, the confidence right now in his running at, at this part of the field. We talked about his lean, his power, the way he keeps his legs driving, and the get off of the offensive line outweighing the smaller Middle Tennessee defense. And Mary Weather on first down. Outside again, good tough run from Thomas Merriweather wrapping up his Red Hawk career, picking up eight yards. You know, this formation they're using with the fullback and the B gap, I don't know if it's new for, I know it's new for this game. They may have shown it a couple times during the year, but they have their fullbacks, Sims and Helmuth. They are the hammers. The, unfortunately, they don't even get a running play. There's not a running play in the book for them. They said they'll throw them the ball in the flat. I said throw them a bone once in a while, but they are the hammers. They block like crazy up front. Well, Keep that's... an eye on the power raid cooler, guys. And we'll see if uh, Lance Gidry can be as successful as evading it as Jim Harbaugh was. <laughs> Merriweather on second down, picking his way, leaning close to a first down that would clinch this game for Miami. For interim head coach Lance Gidry. And I think he knows it's coming now, coach. The double hug by the seniors. Oh, and the double dump. <laughs> But you know what? It feels good. I'm just going to tell you, that'll be the, the, the best Gatorade bath he's ever taken.